New at 530, Judge Terrence Berg talking one-on-one -on -one with Action News about the night someone opened fire on him outside his own home. Tonight, there is still a $35,000 reward for information leading to the arrest, arrest of a suspect. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig joins us with the story now. The fellow that was ahead said something along the lines of, uh, we don't want to harm you, we just want you to let us into your house. Federal Judge Terrence Byrd talking about the night two men approached him outside his house in Detroit's University District. He was stunned and refused to let them in to get near his family. He then, he reached in his jacket and he pulled out a gun and he said, we have a gun. And then I said, no, no, no. He didn't really say anything else. Uh, he just somewhat unexpectedly lifted up his elbow and aimed and fired at my leg. As Judge Bird continues to recover from a bullet wound to his right leg, it's still unclear if this marathon runner will ever be able to run again. But what he hasn't lost is his faith. And this Friday at the Jesu Catholic Church on Oak Drive near McNichols, Judge Bird will take part in the first ever Walk for Hope. Church doors will open at 5.30 p.m. for the walk that will begin at 6 o'clock on McNichols next to the Jesu School. And even those who cannot walk are welcome to come and fellowship. And just to express solidarity of the neighborhood and of the community and to talk about solutions and doing something about the problem and expressing our love for the city and for each other and in a peaceful and prayerful way. And he's eager to get back to the bench. I do very much look forward to uh, getting back to work. I love the job. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.